here I have Samsung Galaxy J3 Prime and let me show you how to set up this device. So as you can see, let's start by using the welcome panel. Here you can choose your desired language. This is the full list of available languages. In my case, let me use the English one. All right, let's tap OK. You can also here choose accessibility and make some changes right here. For example, you can change the vision. You can enable the talkback. You can also go back and use the emergency call. Here you can use some emergency calls if you need something. If not, let's go back. Let's tap start. Sorry, let me go back again. Here you can connect your device to a Wi-Fi. It's not necessary, but I usually recommend this step because you can do more with your internet access. So let me choose my Wi-Fi. Let's enter the password. All right, if you are ready, let's choose connect. Let's wait until everything will be done. Let's tap OK. Now we are connected. Let's choose next. Let's accept terms of service. Tab agree. The phone is checking network and adding some finishing touches. Let's wait a few seconds. The device is looking for the update. So now you can add your Google account to your device. It's not necessary, but I usually recommend this step because the Google account enables some interesting features and you can do it in two ways. You can create a new account by using that blue link or you may use the existing Google account. So in my case, let me use the existing one. Let's enter the email. Tap next. Now it's time to enter the password. All right, if you are ready, let's choose next. Let's accept the terms of service and privacy policy. The phone is checking info again. Here you can enable or disable a couple of Google services. For example, you can enable backup to Google Drive. You can help apps find your location, improve location accuracy and send system data. In my case, let me leave all of them enabled. Tab next. As you can see here, we've got date and time settings. If everything is correct, choose next again. You can use some kind of the lock type. It could be pattern, pin or password, or you can choose not now. You can also do it later in settings. You can also sign in into the Samsung account. If you would like to do it, you can do it right here. If not, let's choose skip. Tab skip again. Here we've got some useful features. So if everything is all right, you can scroll down and just tap finish. Let me skip Samsung account again, skip it and tap finish right here. Here we've got some information with the device data collection. You can choose agree or don't agree. In my case, let me tap agree, tap next. Let me decline a couple of features. And that's it. The home screen pops up. So now you can use your device. Everything went well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel. Leave thumbs up under the video.